Farming is a, is a lonely job. And being an artist, being a painter is a lonely job. If you're a farmer in the farms that I, I painted in the Welsh borders, um, you were alone on your 200 acres, maybe with casual help in the summer, but day after day through long winters you'd be on your own. And it's the same for an artist. He's alone in his, in his studio. So where, where does rock music come in? Well, I think it's the contrast between the loneliness and the frugality of life on the farm and the excesses of rock music, uh, world tours, hotel rooms and extravagance. It's the contrast between these ways of living that come together in the transistor radio in the corrugated iron barn where, uh, strangely, the farmer would be working on his tractor to the soundtrack of Pink Floyd echoing um, uh, echoing amongst the tin and, and, and the debris of farming life. In modern farms, of course, uh, it's similar because they may be sitting in an air-conditioned tractor, but they will have their earphones on. And again, somehow or other, the loneliness of ploughing up and down the field is accompanied by, by music, urban music. And it's this contrast between uh, the country life, between rural life in Wales, and when I used to go to Los Angeles, that um, turned me on. The whole idea of light and dark, warm and cold, wet and dry, windy and still, bright and dull, these are the contrasts that make painting work, make art work. And for me, the solitary company of beautiful music um, is what keeps me going when I when I'm painting, and I suppose really this exhibition is dedicated to the music of Roy Orbison and the other Sun Studio artists who whose work is still as bright and beautiful as it was when they recorded it. <laughs> 